this project I started with a 12 by 20 inch picture frame that I had picked up at Goodwill. Here I am taking the sticker off of it. Then I flipped it over, took the backing out, took the glass out, and then I took the frame out to the garage and actually sanded it to give it a kind of a distressed look because this is going to be a coastal resin art project that I'm doing. And then um, once I was done cleaning the frame up, I flipped it over and put Elmer's glue around the perimeter of the back of the frame where the glass would sit. Then I replaced the glass and put Elmer's glue around the perimeter one more time. I have several projects that I actually use the clear Elmer's glue, but I'm not using that anymore. I found it was way too runny and way too thin, and it just made a mess. It dripped all over the place and got all over the front of the glass and everything. It just wasn't worth it. You're better off using the thicker, standard Elmer's glue. It's to dry overnight and sometimes up to 24 hours depending on how much glue you use. Now this serves two purposes. It helps to hold the glass in place and it also helps to prevent any resin leaks once you pour resin on the other side. Usually I put painter's tape around the back too but I did forget this time. So what I did was I had a cutout in the shape of a large triangle like a Christmas tree and I taped that to the very back and then I started laying out my sea glass. Now I have about 30 minutes of <laughs> film that I'm going to show you in about two because I really, I worked for a long time on this and put stuff on and took stuff off and put stuff on. And I was going to put jewelry on it at first and have jewelry for the very top of it. But in the end, I ended up taking all the jewelry off and just using um, shells and pearls, I believe. So um, <laughs> you'll see me doing all sorts of things. I had uh, taken a necklace apart and put it on there and then taken it off. And um, <laughs> it just took a while before I could decide what I really wanted to do. If you look back, I have a couple old mermaid videos where I have the sea glass for the mermaid's tail, and I have a whole bunch of um, jewelry and seashells in it. So anyway, I thought maybe the jewelry would look pretty in this too. And then here you can see me putting little tiny starfish on it, which I thought looked really cute. So the blue sea glass that I'm using in this project is actually faux sea glass. This is glass that I've picked up at garage sales and thrift stores, broken up and tumbled myself. Other things that I look for at garage sales and thrift stores are jewelry, frames, and I've even picked up shells from garage sales. So um, at the very bottom now I'm putting some crushed shells. And then I have one large shell that I use for the trunk of the tree. And you can see I took the piece of jewelry off the top and ended up using a starfish for the top of the tree. And this is how I have it. And now it's ready for resin. So the resin I'm using for this project is art resin. It's a one-to-one -one ratio resin that I mixed up off camera. You mix it slowly for three minutes and that helps to prevent any bubbles. So I usually spoon it over all the glass first, including the shells at the bottom, and then I usually put it up in the corners and along the perimeter. So now you'll see me putting a little bit more resin on, pushing it up around into the corners and along the edges. Even though this says it's self-leveling, it really isn't. You have to make sure you push it up into the corners and that everything's covered or you'll end up with some empty spots. And here I have the little kitchen torch getting rid of all the bubbles. I put the starfish at the top and decide it needs a few more shells and a few more pearls. And when this is done, it needs to sit on a flat level surface overnight. You can usually touch it after 12 hours. It takes a full 72 hours to cure. All resins are different. You need to read the directions. And you need to look at it at eye level and from all different um, angles to see if there's any kind of sediment in it or everything is covered. It's best at temperatures between 72 and 85 degrees Fahrenheit. It's also in your best interest to cover it with a dust cover when it's done. 
Hey everyone. <laughs> so like I showed you on the video, I seriously messed around with this for, I don't know, 45 minutes, putting things on, taking things off. I had a clear picture of what I wanted to do when I started. And, um, and it was to put jewelry with it. Like I had made the mermaid uh, that I have hanging outside and it has the sea glass and it has the uh, shells and it has jewelry pieces in it. But I, the jewelry just didn't look right in it for some reason. I don't know if this because it's so much smaller than the mermaid or the jewelry was too big. I don't know. But I messed with it. Sometimes you you know you have an idea what you want to do and it just doesn't work out. But um, I think this turned out pretty. Um, I'm almost thinking next time I might like make another layer of the sea glass on top of it. I don't know. What do you guys think? And. Um, I don't know. I think it still turned out real pretty, but um, I almost think it's so it's so flat. It would be kind of nice if I had more piled on top, but maybe I'll try that next time. <laughs> anyway, um, oh, I wanted to show you my garage sale finds. One of the things that I uh, started taking apart in this video was a necklace. I actually got four beautiful um, necklaces. I think they're vintage necklaces. I don't know. Um, the lady said, the lady was, that was having the garage sale was uh, probably a little older than me. And um, she said her mom used to wear them. So I don't know when her mom used to wear them, but this was the one I was taking apart on the video. This is part of it that's still together. It's so pretty. And then all these pieces here. And um, so that was $2. I, I, I should have bought the other ones too. Look how pretty this one is. Two dollars. This one. Two dollars. Isn't that pretty? I was trying to look for names because some, um, you know, costume vintage jewelry is really uh, valuable. Of course, crazy me, I take them apart. Um, and that's another one. Two bucks. I thought they were so pretty. Anyway. Um, so that was that, and I also got, look at this bottle, one dollar, and this is thick, really thick glass. This would be great for, um, to break up and tumble for uh, sea glass. Isn't that, and beautiful, look at the color of it. See, it's blue all the way through. It is just such a pretty color. And then the other thing I got that I showed on my last video was this container. Isn't that cute? I actually got two glass containers to put my glass in. And uh, this is so, so pretty, but the first one I broke. That's a bad thing about glass containers. When, <laughs> if you have, um, if you put your glass in glass, you have to put it in gently because it can break. And that's what I did with the other one. I was saying to myself, be careful as I did it. And of course I broke it. But anyway, so this is real pretty. And, um, I got two of I got two of these at the garage sale. These are frames. He was uh, um, he said ten dollars. He says I don't know maybe ten dollars for both. What were you going to offer? And I said well I was going to offer you a dollar for each. He said well I guess it's two dollars more than I had this morning. So anyway I got two of these a dollar each, and um, I got these mirrors. These were a good deal too, a buck each. I thought those were a good deal. And then um, I got, I don't know why I keep on thinking this is a mirror. This isn't a mirror. I got this picture frame for $2. I'm gonna paint it white, I think. So that was a really big one. And then um, I got these two for a dollar each. The only thing is, this one, I didn't realize it until after I took it. It has a little scratch on the side there, so maybe I'm gonna have to paint it, but um, dollar each. Oh, this was the, this was the other one. They were identical, <laughs> the, the, they were a dollar each. Anyway, I got some good garage sale buys this, uh, this past weekend. And, um, oh, back to the, my Christmas tree. <laughs> 
Anyway, oh, and I burnt this. I don't know if you noticed on the video when I was do, you know, getting rid of the bubbles, I actually burnt the thing. I said, oh, well, that kind of adds to the distressed look. Or you could just put a little white paint on your finger and kind of go over it a little. But anyway, <laughs> all right, well, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. That helps the channel. If you want to be notified of future videos, subscribe. And I hope you all have a great day. Thanks for watching.